the ad group level is where you set your targeting and where you put all your individual ads together. What I'm doing in my remarketing ads and what I do in ads that are for making first impressions, I make different ad groups based on the targeting. So what you see here, the same ads are in all these different ad groups. So I click here and show you ads are individual videos. So all these different videos are showing in one ad group and then the only difference between or among ad groups is the targeting. So all these ad groups have the same ads and then there's different targeting in each one of these. So this one targets people who've already watched a YouTube video who are on my remarketing list. This one targets people who've got my website remarketing. This one targets everyone who's converted anywhere, whether it was a course sale, email marketing, sign up, etc. And this one targets my old Udemy remarketing audience and still people who are on existing courses where I still have Google Analytics. <laughs> and this then gets me into that remarketing. So these are the four different audiences. So at the ad group level, what you're able to do, now it'll try and make, it'll when you go to create an ad group, it'll try and force you to make an ad with it also. The key things at the ad group level are this. So at the ad group level, you set the targeting. If you want to do remarketing, what you need to do is click remarketing. You need to have set up Google Analytics to do remarketing, that's what's required. So this isn't a Google Analytics course. I'll do some Google Analytics training. If you want Google Analytics training, please ask me to make a Google Analytics training in a discussion, I'll make one. You need Google Analytics set up, you need Google Analytics connected with your AdWords account, and then you need your AdWords account remarketing list, all that needs to be set up in Google Analytics. Once you've set that up, you can target that in AdWords remarketing lists. So for example, I've got all these existing Udemy courses where I've got the remarketing tracking code on it. I've got all of these, that's how many people Google says I can target with the list. Now for video remarketing, all you need to do is connect your YouTube account with your AdWords account. That's the easiest one to set up. So what I do is just make individual ad groups which each, each of these different targeting sets. Now if you don't have any remarketing lists, that's fine. What I do is target interests. For example, on my tech ones, like my Linux videos, I then would pick something like this. I select technophiles and then I select like business professionals and do-it-yourselfers and I break those up among each different targeting group. So on many of these ones where I ran, I ran ads to people who'd never seen my videos before, I'd have one say with keyword targeting here. I'd have another with big open interest groups. I'd have another with different targeting criteria and then that allows me to see which ones the ads actually show on. One of the worst things about YouTube ads is you'll target something that seems like it has a lot of people, a keyword like for a certain video game and your ads will hardly show it all on it. You often can raise the cost per view can help with that, but on some things there's just so few videos and there's such high competition on it, it's hard to get any ads in there. So what I usually do when I'm making ads on a new th campaign to promote a video that, like the hacking video, I just do really broad targeting. YouTube's targeting seems to be pretty bad lots of times, so I just do really broad targeting, realizing I have no idea what context these ads are going to show in, and I just want the most views for the least cost. And just by brute force and dumb luck, my video will end up in the right person's hands at the right time and then they'll share it, then they'll watch it, then they'll love it, then they'll go buy a course. So that's what I do at the ad group level. And the final thing I'll show you then is making an actual ad which then sets all of the rest of this in motion.